Hey guys, I want to give a quick talk about why you should only invest in companies that have good fundamentals. And by good, I mean excellent. And by excellent, I mean flawless. Because if you aren't sure about the fundamentals of the company you're investing in, then you're leaving things up to chance. And do you want to risk your hard-earned money to chance? No. As always guys, my name is Adam, you are watching Steady Invest. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment, and let's begin. When you're investing in a company long term, anything can happen in the short term. It's unlikely that you buy into a company and then it just goes up right from there, but it happens. This is why I don't like going all into a position at once, because if it goes down, I can always buy more. The real win though is because since I believe in the fundamentals, I believe in that company. And no matter what happens in the short term, it does not matter. And I feel evil, ha 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 ha, because I want these companies at cheaper prices. I want the market to go down in the short term so I can succeed more long term. Yeah, the current value of my portfolio might not look so nice, but I'll sacrifice that for long term gains. But however, this is a double edged sword, because what if after you buy that stock, it goes up? Are you going to average up or are you going to leave it be? These are all decisions you need to make and plan before you buy into a stock. Or trust me, it's going to backfire when things happen and you don't know what to do. There are so many different variables you have to assess when you're determining the value of a company and its future prospects. If it were that easy to determine, everyone would do it and everyone would be rich. You have to put in the hours, you have to put in the work to do your research. I started buying into Tesla when it was about 700 US. It had already gone up almost 100% since the March lows. It was hard to buy those stocks. However, I didn't care because I believed in Musk. I believed in where it was going. I believed in the financial, so on and so forth. That it didn't matter that it had run up because I told myself, if it goes back down, I'll buy it happily. If it goes up, I'll make money happily. And we all know what happened with Tesla since May. And it actually averaged up once it dipped, once the stock split happened. So after it dropped from 500 to 350, that's when I started buying again because it had dropped so much. If only I had bought everything back in May or in the March crash or last year or 10 years ago. But we can't think like that. We have to make decisions on where we think it's going from now. And because I believe in Tesla long term, I haven't sold one share. I don't care what happens in the short term. If it goes down, I'll buy more. If not, I'll ride that wave all the way to the top. But that's how I like to play the stock market long term. I like to have cash on the side. I like to wait for those dips and then hold long term. But that's because I believe fundamentals are so important that if you believe in a company, roll with it. But that's just me. That's how I like to invest to each their own. But let me know how you guys like to invest in the comments below. Remember, like the video and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.